What's up, Facebook family? This is your boy, Pastor Damien. Just stop by for a little moment to encourage you. Just to uh, Today, I want to talk about head, heart, and hand. I, I'm reminded of two girls who grew up in Compton, California, uh, in the hood, had a mother and a father who loved them dearly. And at a young age, uh, he taught them to play the game of tennis. By the time they were 17, 18 years old, they were on the pro circuit with braids and beads in their hair. A lot of racism taken apart. And before them, the only other persons who had played the game of tennis that were the same color was Althea Gibson and one Arthur Ashe. Probably some others, but those are notable names. And today we know them as Venus and Serena Williams. One of the things that I can't help but think about is that one day they had a dream. They had something in their head. Here's the reality, family. Oftentimes we struggle because we can't even dream up anything. We never see results because we don't even have a dream. Dr. Martin Luther King, as he stood there on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial, said, I have a dream. And he starts to give us a litany of things that he had dreamt of. Venus and Serena Williams at an early age had a dream of one day being the greatest tennis players of all time. See, their father, Richard, gave them an opportunity as a kid to not play Sega Genesis or Atari, to not play PlayStation or Nintendo. But they went outside as often as possible with a tennis ball and a tennis record because they had something in their, their head. They had a dream. But then it moved from being a dream to becoming a passion. It moved from head to heart. And I declare to you today that oftentimes we struggle from getting results, not because we don't even have a dream, but it, it's never really a passion. So if you never have a passion for something, it's because you never dreamt of anything. But once you know what it is that you want to do, the biggest obstacle you'll ever face is you. See, oftentimes when I got in trouble growing up, it wasn't because of anybody else. It's because Damien didn't do what Damien was supposed to do. I knew to do the right thing. I knew how to do the right thing, but I got myself in trouble. I, 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 I tripped over my, my own feet. But then I got something in my head. I had a dream one day of being a president of a college things started happening for me because it moved from my head down to my heart. It became passion. It became passion. And when it became passion, I, I realized that nobody else could stop me. <clears throat> Systematic racism couldn't stop me. Sexism couldn't stop me. Racism couldn't stop me. Listen, I could only stop me from getting to the presidency. God's divine intervention took me in another route. Consequently, I, I stopped at the vice presidency. I don't know what will happen in the future, but I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. Because when you have something in your head and you have it in your heart, at some point, after all the anguish, the pain, the turmoil, the, the hurt, the shame, the defeat, listen, you can have it in your hand talking to somebody right now, you've got business plans in your desk. It's dusty. It's, it's, it's messed up because you, you dreamt of that years ago, but because of life happening to you, you've not been able to accomplish it. So you've just put it away as if it had never, my plan for you today, friends, or my, and my word for you and my encouragement for you today is to pull those plans out, <sighs> blow them off. And get to work on that which you dreamed of years ago. Listen, 
Stop talking about what you don't have and start cussing and trading on what you do have. The problem with people is that we oftentimes concentrate on that which is negative. Think about it. That's how the world we live in operates. You look at the news, everything is negative. Right now we're dealing with this virus and just so happen to be during the time of presidential elections. That's another talk for another day, but how I run it. But get those plans out. Start dreaming again. Start writing again. Start doing what you did in the beginning, but because you had children or because you had to go to work or because you had to tie yourself up or get up from your own selves, bootstraps, you, you, you've been delayed, but delayed is not denial. You've denied yourself, not anyone else. It's your fault, friend. It's your fault. You're your biggest hindrance every day. You've got to say, I listen, I can, I will, and I must. I can, I will, and I must. Listen, that's not my adage. That's an old adage. But you've got to say that because you can, friends. When I made up in my mind years ago, I wanted to be a president. That was going to be no stopping. But my dream couldn't just be a dream. I had to move. I had to move from dreaming to passion, from head to heart. And I knew one day I'll have it in my hand. My hand represents my results, friends. Do you want it? It is there for the taking. And can I tell you about Venus and Serena Williams? Listen, they've got U.S. championships, Wimbledon championships. Listen, they got French Open championships. You name it, they got it. They, they have won every single championship that's out there. What about you? Are you allowing excuses to stop you? Are you allowing life to stop you? Well, only you can stop you. But I want to encourage you today to put something in your head. Dream again. Put it down in your heart with passion. But then, friends, I promise you one day, you can have it in your hand. Won't you repeat that with me? My head, my heart, and my hand, my head, my heart, and my hand. Because if I don't have anything in my hand, that's because I don't have anything in my heart. And I don't have anything in my heart is because I don't have anything in my head. But when I get something in my head, I can put it down in my heart and go and get it. And one day I can have it in my hand. It's yours for the taking. This has been your boy, Pastor D. I holler. Peace.